subject mathematics standard 4th topic name is measurement part 4 students today we are going to see new sub topic that is volume and capacity students let us discuss the learning objectives today's topic first point meaning of volume and capacity second point relation between liter and milliliter third point half quarter and three quarters of a liter fourth point convert of liters into milliliters See students here, what is a capacity? Look at the following bottles. They all work different. They have different shapes, different height and different colors and different liquids inside but they have one common property the amounts of liquids inside the bottles are the same so each bottle holds 2 liters of a liquid so we see that all the bottles have a common property this property is the amount of space they have for holding a liquid. This space is called capacity. So we can say that all these bottles have the same capacity. Now students, See next one. What is volume? Sometimes the amounts of liquids inside the different burrows of jar the same but the capacity of container are not the same. So the following cylinders which all have different capacities but the amount of liquids inside all the cylinders are the same. This amount is called volume. Volume represents the amount of a liquid or how much space the liquid takes up in a container. Students, now see this picture. What is a volume and capacity? See, this is a volume and this is a capacity. Capacity is the amount of space of a container for holding a liquid. And volume is the amount of space the liquid takes in a container. Students, in our everyday life, we measure the quantities of various liquids such as petrol, oil and milk, etc. Let us now discuss how can we measure the capacity container you have learned in your class 3rd. That the quantity of a liquid that a container or vessel can hold is called a capacity. So the capacity of container tell us how much of a liquid can hold the standard unit of capacity is liter. So students here, 
liter is a larger unit to measure the volume of liquid. The standard unit of capacity is liter. We denote liters by L. Students, tell me what do you see in this picture? Yes, very good students. Milk pouch, petrol pump, water bottle. Students, we measure the quantities of liquids such as milk, petrol and water bottle in liters. Students, what do you see in this picture? Yes, very good students. Milliliter is the smaller unit of capacity such as cold ring, medicine bottle, shampoo and perfume etc. In small bottles are measured in milliliters. And milliliter is a very small unit to measure the volume of liquid. We denote milliliters by ml. Students, see this picture. 1 liter, 500 milliliters, 200 milliliters, 100 milliliters and 50 milliliters. Oil and petrol are measured by standard sized vessels means liquids like oil and petrol are measured with the help of standard sized vessels shown here liquids like milk and water are measured with help of standard sized vessels which are shown here 1 liter 500 milliliters, 200 milliliters, 100 milliliters and 50 milliliters means milk and water are measured by standard sized vessels. Now students, let us find the relationship between liter and milliliter. Students, relationship between liter and milliliter, 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. Now we have to convert into liters and milliliters. So to convert liters into milliliters, we multiply the number of liters by 1000. For example, 8 liter. 8 liter means, what is the short form of liters? L. This is an example. 8 liters is equal to 8 multiplied by 1000 milliliters. What is the short form of milliliters? ML. Now we have to multiply by 8 multiply by 1000. First we will multiply by 8. 1s are 8. See, 8 1s are 8. So right here 8. 8 after we have to put 3 0. 1, 2, 3. So right here 3 0. 1, 2, 3. So we will read this number. 8000 milliliters. See students here, volume and capacity. First point, liter and milliliter are the units to measure the capacity. Liter is a larger unit to measure the volume of liquid. Liter is written as L in short. Milliliter is written as ML in short. Milliliter is a very small unit to measure the volume of liquid. Students next, half, quarter and three quarters of a litre. 
Students remember this point. First point, 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. Means half of 1500. So half of a liter is equal to 500 milliliters. A quarter of a liter is equal to 250 milliliters. Fourth, three quarters of a liter is equal to 750 milliliters. Next, conversion between liters and milliliters. Answer the following questions. First, how many milliliters are there in 3 liters? Solution, students, you know 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. So, 3 liters is equal to and what is the short form of liters? L. So, 3 liters is equal to 3 multiplied by 1000 ml. What is the short form of milliliters? Yes, ml. So, 3 multiplied by 1000. First, we will multiply by 3 ones are 3. So, write here 3. After that, put 3 0. 1, 2, 3. So, we will read the number 3000 ml means milliliters. Students, now final answer we are getting 3 liters is equal to 3000 milliliters. Students, now see second example. How many milliliters are there in 7 liters? Solution, 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. Students, tell me what is the short form of liter? Yes, L. So, 7 liter is equal to 7 multiply by 1000. Students tell me what is the short form of milliliters? Yes, very good students. ML. So, 7 multiply by 1000. First, we multiply by this number 7 multiply by 1. So, 7 right here. After that, put 3 0. 1, 2, 3. So, we will read this number 7000 ml. Okay, 7000 ml. Final answer we are getting 7 liters is equal to 7000 milliliters. Students, now third example. How many milliliters are there in 3 and 3 quarter liters. Solution 3 and 3 quarter liters. First we will write in the number form. 3 and 3 quarter means 3 upon 4 liters. Now we will separate these numbers. 3 liters. What is the short form of liters? L. So 3 L plus 3 upon 4 L. 3 liter means 3000 milliliters. Means we have to convert the liters into milliliters. So 3 multiply by 1000 milliliters is equal to 3000 milliliters. What is the short form of milliliters? ML. Now plus 3 upon 4 means 750 milliliters means when I divided into circle in four parts 
one part is 250 second part is 250 third part is 250 when I, when I add these three numbers 250 plus 250 plus 250 is equal to 750 milliliters so 3 upon 4 liters means 750 milliliters now after that we will add these numbers 3000 plus 750 Okay, we got 3750 milliliters. Now, final answer we are getting 3 and 3 quarter liters is equal to 3750 milliliters. Now, fourth example. How many Milliliters are there in one and a half liters. Solution one and a half liters is equal to one means one, half means one upon two, and what is the short form of liters? L. Now this number we will write in separate one liter plus one upon two liter. 1 liter means 1000 milliliters. 1000 is equal to means 1 liter. Okay. So, plus 1 upon 2 liters means 500. What is a 1000 of half? 500 milliliters. Now, we will add this both numbers. 1000 plus 500 milliliters we got 1500 milliliters the short form of milliliters ml and short form of liters l after that when we will add these both numbers we got 1500 milliliters final answer we are getting one and a half liters is equal to 1500 milliliters Now students, let's summarize what we have learned in this lesson. Capacity Capacity is the amount of space of a container for holding a liquid. Volume Volume is the amount of space the liquid takes in a container. Liter and milliliter are the units to measure the capacity. Liter is a larger unit to measure the volume of liquid. Liter is written as L in short. Milliliter is written as ML in short. Milliliter is a very small unit to measure the volume of liquid. Students, this is your assignment. Filling the blanks. Now, next answer the following questions. You have to do practice in your Max notebook. Thank you dear students. Keep learning and keep practicing.